All right, I'm the Flat Rate Master. Today we're going to talk about Milwaukee's new automotive-focused borescope. Now, if you're unfamiliar with a borescope, you can stick it in really tight places and look at stuff. It's a video camera on a flexible little rod. We're primarily going to compare it against the Snap-on BK5600, which is uh, actually more expensive borescope than the Milwaukee one but is kind of in the same price class and is extremely common borescope out in the industry. This is the borescope I've used for years. It's got some drawbacks. Now it is only 480p, whereas the Milwaukee is 720. Now in order to get to 720 with Snap-on, it is considerably more money, about, oh, $1,800 more money. <laughs> for the Snap-on one, and this one is powered by AA battery. You know, let's talk battery systems. You know, AA batteries, easy, simple, buy batteries, replace them when they're dead, move on. Right back up and running. So it's okay, but it's not the best for the environment, and obviously it's not exactly cheap. Many, many times using this borescope, people would borrow it at the old shop, and when I would go to use it, it'd be dead and I'd have to get batteries. Kind of sucks. Internal, like lithium ion batteries. Those can actually be even worse for these kind of products. My thermal imager from Snap-on is a great example. Somebody would borrow it. Battery would be dead. Nobody told me to put it on a charger and I've got to wait for it to charge. Now, Milwaukee went obviously with a M12 battery system because it's Milwaukee. And that's a much better system in general, simply because you can just swap batteries. You've got lithium ion, they're rechargeable, not bad for the environment. Just a little rant about battery systems simply because I've dealt with all of them. To be honest, a replaceable battery is my favorite. And that's where the Milwaukee is really nice because you just charge an M12 battery and slap it in, ready to go. Now let's talk about quick features, 720 resolution, Snap-on's 480. One of the best features about this is the screen rotates. If you've ever been looking at a borescope, the screen is never in the best position. This one has always sucked as far as actual use because you're sitting there with one hand and you're trying to get the, you know, the shot you need, but because this either is sitting flat or you've got it propped up on something, you, you kind of pull this a little bit, it falls down. It's always sucked. You can manipulate the screen to get it positioned so it won't fall over. It more or less has kind of a tripod on it anyway, because this and the long reach. So you can go ahead and, well, see what you need to see. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't get any actual shots of it inside a vehicle. I've been on jury duty this week, so I'll get shots when I can. But unfortunately, I haven't been at work because jury duty. So what I did is I used what's called a color checker chart. Now what this is, is basically it's used for videography to make sure your white balance is good and your colors are accurate for color correction in video. Now what I did is put that color checker in a box that was completely dark. You could not see any light without the borescope's light on it. And I used it to check details, colors, as well as checking the brightness of the LEDs. Now, one of the biggest drawbacks has been on the Snap-on is the light. A lot of times we'll have to go in there with a flashlight, push it down the hole, look and add light to try to see what we're trying to see. Whereas with this one, it's way, way brighter. Milwaukee's is actually five millimeters, whereas the Snap-on is 5.5, making it a little easier to get in the hole. Insert your joke here. Now the light on the Milwaukee is significantly brighter on the Milwaukee versus the Snap-on. Both the Milwaukee and the Snap-on lights are at 100% for both the front facing camera as well as the side view camera. And these are the details that you can see with both cameras. Obviously apples to oranges, 480 to 720, no external lights, just the lights on the borescope. No other light could enter the box. And this is the shots I got with it. Now, a couple notes, Milwaukee's does come with a 32 gig 
memory card, as well as a SD card adapter, making it easier to adapt to a PC. Snap-on, however, came with like a four gig, but I don't know what it comes with now. Mine is several years old. So quick gripe about the video format. The video files are MOV, which is an Apple codec. So if you want to play it on a Windows device, you either have to use something like Handbrake or QuickTime or something like that to be able to play MOV files. On my desktop, I just use Handbrake because I have it, it's been installed forever. So, but you're gonna have to convert it to an MP4 file to play it on a Windows or get a compatible video player that works with MOV. Windows doesn't natively. So that's a big miss, I think, on their part. It should have been MP4, but you know that's their decision, not mine. So I think it's definitely a huge step up from my Snap-on. Uh, the rotating screen, the tripod effect where you can put it down and actually be able to see what you're doing rather than having to hold the tool which sucks on the snap-on because it never wants to stay exactly where you're trying to see it. So huge, huge benefits in this tool. So hope you like this video. As always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rate Master.